How do you? My name is Anna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I wanted to do a video about the palette tag part two that was started by Samantha March. She did a collaboration with Ali Glines. And I think about a year and a half ago, they did part one where they put um, a bunch of questions all about your eyeshadow palette collection. And then now they have done part two. I'm super excited because I love, I love, 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 love eyeshadows and I do collect them. And without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so like I said, this is the palette tag part two video. Again, welcome. My name is Anna and this was started, like I said, by Ellie Glines and Samantha March. And I am going to link their videos down below. They were the people who started this, both of their channels. Um, I've been subscribed to for a while now and I do enjoy both of their channels. So I wanted to jump on this bandwagon and talk about my eyeshadow palettes because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so there are, I think, 11 questions. And I have to say this was, this was kind of hard to decide. Much harder than just general rankings because there were a couple that fell into a couple categories and I couldn't decide like exactly where to put them. Anyways, this is how I feel today. So let's get started. All right, so the first question is your all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. And Man, this could be a lot. I, I mean, of course, depending on the day or whatever, but the first one that came to mind that just popped in my head and that I kept sort of coming back to maybe because of that. I mean, there was a bunch that that I thought of kind of after that, but the one that kept coming back is the Pat McGrath um, Bronze Seduction Palette. I just love this one. And every time, the thing is every time that I wear it, I just feel so glamorous and so beautiful. And I, I feel like it's just an easy, easy one to get an amazing look. And yeah, it's Pat McGrath. So you've got the special shades. Um, there's a bit of, you know, some duochromes going on in this realm. And then you've got this bright red. And then you can do sort of a more neutral. I love this deep plum. I just just a good one and I mean she fancy and expensive and so I better like her <laughs> anyways that is that is that one all right and then new favorite palette the first one that actually came to mind was not this one because it's in another spot so I just let it be in the other spot um so that I could mention both because I do like love this palette um and that is the Pat McGrath Labs and Bridgerton um, collection. Let's see, Diamond of the First Water is the name of it. And it's just, it's what I'm wearing today. Um, I don't think this is going to be like one of my favorites forever necessarily, but definitely out of like the newer palettes that have just come out, it's, it's one of my favorites and one that I've used more than others. And I just, I do think it's so pretty. And I love the little, um, oops, wrong side. I love the little bees on the, um, on the pans. Here, let's see if we can. They're actually wearing off because I have used it. But this, uh, this shade here is so beautiful. I'm wearing mostly that just all over today. Um, yeah, I just think it's really fun. I really like it. So that's my favorite newest palette. All right. And then keeping for the memories. These two just go together for me in my collection. I got them somewhat around the same time and it was just a very unique time in my life. So basically I moved to LA for a minute and a half. Um, the pandemic actually kind of brought my husband and I back to the Pacific Northwest, which I don't regret at all, but I have such good memories and good feelings tied to that time that I spent in Los Angeles. And 
these were the two palettes that I just used kind of the most there. Um, and so I, I couldn't choose just one because they just kind of went together for me. And I don't really even use them anymore. It's been a while. Um, but that is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. Um, so this was in 2019. And I don't know. I just, I used this so much. I used this for job interviews and auditions and just going out. Um, but anytime I just needed to look pretty, um, this is what I used because I knew that it was going to work. And yeah, I just have, you know, good memories attached to it. And then the other one is the So Jaded Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collection palette. Um, I got this basically for my birthday in 2019. And I actually had it sent to my parents' house because I was going to be there in Arizona at the time. And yeah, it's just so bright and colorful and fun. And... I used it a lot um, in that period of time and it was like the colorful fun one for when I wanted to really try unique looks and then the um, more neutral you know like I would use it for like I said auditions and things so that's that um okay next is oh the most underrated palette okay so this palette right here this metamorphosis which was um, a collab with Pink Crush Cosmetics and Crystal Erase Race Makeup. I don't know, it just has a special place in my heart and I just think it's so good. And it's, I mean, it's not that it, um, like when I thought of underrated, what, what I thought of was just one that more people need to know about and this just fits that bill. I just, I feel like everyone needs to know about this palette because I love it so much and I find the purples and the blues just so beautiful. I like the looks that I've gotten with this and yeah, just so impressed for the price and you know, it's this smaller indie brand and I think it's amazing. I think it's incredible and I think everybody needs to know about it. So that is what I consider the most underrated in my collection. <laughs> okay, this next one. So this is a not your favorite, but one that you can't get rid of. And that is 100% the Natasha Denona True Chrome Palette. I just, I don't ever use this. I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't use it. I don't, I don't go for it. I haven't liked the looks that I've gotten with it. I don't know what it is about this palette that just doesn't, I don't know, but I can't get rid of it because it's Natasha Denona and it's like fairly new at this point. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't remember when this came out. It's a year old or more, but anyway, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't love it and I won't get rid of it. So there's that one. Okay. And now for favorite collab palette and this was one where, you know, I could have probably done this in there, but I was actually glad that there was a spot for these palettes because I was like, I love these so much. And I just considered these one. I know this is technically three palettes, but this is the collab with um, three different makers, um, creators, content creators, and uh, Odin's Eye Cosmetics. And... I just love these. It's um, the Giant Wolves palette with in its makeup corner and the Hummingbird palette with Fancy Face. Her name is Tina. And then um, Red Dragon palette by Judy. And I'll just kind of show them to you. I just, the packaging is so cute. The color stories are amazing. They have some special shades in them um, that are just phenomenal. Oh, the looks that I get with these are gorgeous. The formula is nice. They just make me happy and they were my favorite collab this year um, or in the past year. And here's the Hummingbird palette. Oh, look at that. Yes. I don't know if you can see this shade right here changing from like purple to pink to blue to green. It's just stunning and gorgeous and beautiful. And then Giant Wolves palette. 
know why I keep these. Why do I keep them? Is it to protect these? Maybe I just can't get rid of them. I keep boxes too and I don't know why. Anyways, this one has this ridiculously beautiful, like shifty. I mean, look at that dip in that pan. That's not usual for me. Um, but it's so pretty. Like sometimes I'll just watch that for fun. Yeah. And it even has, it even has a little embossment of like a little wolf print, which there's like a joke in my house where if I state the obvious, my husband will be like, do you also like dogs? Because they are my, my soul and my heart and everything that I love dogs, I, animals in general, but oh my goodness. Anyways, I am digressing. Um, okay. This next one is the prompt was favorite palette purchased in 2021. And I, I think it was this one. I think it was the Pat McGrath labs, uh, celestial odyssey. Oh man, this is just such a beautiful palette. And again, every time I use it, I just feel beautiful and it's got both neutrals and colors and it's just got some stunning shades and great to work with. It comes in this like pretty packaging. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. So that was the favorite palette purchased in 2021. All right. So this next one is a palette that you didn't expect to love uh, from 2021. And that for me is the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. I I didn't even think I was gonna buy this one. I was like, I don't, I don't think I like that. I don't, I don't know what to do with that. Um, and I've talked about this before. I think it was the layout and like all I could see was this orange, like this right here. I don't know. And I was like, I, I don't know what to do with that. I don't, uh, it doesn't strike me. I wasn't such a fan of like the theme, um, the like circus theme, but then I started seeing reviews and I saw some looks that people did and I was blown away and I love this palette. I love it so much. I've gotten the prettiest looks with it. So that was unexpected and just, I'm pleasantly surprised. Ooh, looks cute with my shirt. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Um, a palette that sparks joy for me. I, there are so many and so many in this whole like collection, but I think I'm gonna settle on um, the Danessa Myricks um, Lightworks Volume 3. I just, oh, it's so exciting, right? See, <laughs> I just remember when I first tried this being absolutely blown away. Like my mind was just, wow. Um, these duochrome shades and all the different like textures. I just, and the look that I got with it was just stunning. Um, uh, it's hard to see the, I guess you can kind of see the, the shifts there, but ooh, yeah. Oh, this palette sparks joy. It's just exciting and I love the theme and it's beautiful. Mm. Mwah. I love it. Very good. Okay, so the next prompt, I actually, I got it wrong, but I'm just gonna go with it. Um, <laughs> the prompt was, what is your newest palette? And I think I took that somehow as what was the first palette that you purchased in 2022, so. <laughs> and I wanted this, anyways, this was going to maybe be my favorite newest palette. This is a Dollhouse palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And oh my goodness, if you don't have this palette, get it. <laughs> like, pick this up. It You will not regret it. It's, it's amazing. It is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's so easy to work with. Like, it's effortless to put on. Um... The shimmers are beautiful. There's some like duochromes. It's just gorgeous and it's so easy. Like it's laid out so well. I love everything about these Blend Bunny palettes. They're, with the exception, the Surge palette I didn't 
love the shimmer formula um but that was a bit minor it wasn't it wasn't a big deal they were just a little bit messy to work with they were still pretty um anyways i'm digressing this one this one is beautiful it's perfect it is definitely one of my new favorites i think this might become one of my all-time favorite palettes i mean it's new so i don't i don't know that for sure but that is my prediction oh my goodness it's just so so beautiful and the last prompt was what palette did you first use what was the first palette that you used in 2022 and for me that was my natasha denona glam face palette actually um my husband and i went and spent a couple days at the coast for his birthday um and this was like we left january 3rd and I'm pretty sure that's the first time we put on makeup was while we were there and I just used it um because it was like such an easy thing to bring along I think I brought a lot of makeup with me which was totally silly but this was definitely one and I just feel pretty when I wear this anyways it was the first one that I put on in 2022 and it's very pretty so that is all about my eyeshadows palette tag 2022. Thank you, Ellie Glines and Samantha March for coming up with this. And I know that creators everywhere all over the internet, like love this video and love doing this video. Um, I've really enjoyed watching, um, their videos about, about these. And it's so interesting to see just people's palette collections. I mean, I don't even I don't know if there were any, like maybe the Bridgerton one was in Samantha March's, I think. Anyways, it's so fascinating to see what different people are into and you might even learn about a palette that you didn't know about or that you kind of missed that was under the radar. Anyways, so much fun. Thank you again to those two lovely ladies. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put their links to their videos down below um check those out for sure and i'm sure there are a lot of creators that you watch and love that are also doing this so check that out as well it's also something you know if you want to make a video this is a good one to start with like it's it's so sort of fun and easygoing and you know you're not actually applying makeup and whatnot it's just it's just fun and you're talking you get to talk about your favorite things at least these are my favorite things <laughs> or some of them, um, you know, along, along with dogs. So that's, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the support. Um, I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you are not subscribed already, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.